Kampuni ya sukari ya Nzoya ni moja ya kampuni kubwa za sukari hapa Kenya. Kampuni hiyo ambayo iko katika kaunti ya Bungoma eneo bunge la Kandui na inategemewa na zaidi ya wakulima 1045 wa miwa walio katika maeneo ya Bungoma na Kakamega na inategemewa na zaidi ya wakulima 1045 wa miwa walio katika maeneo ya Bungoma na Kakamega. Zoya ilianzishwa mwaka 1975 Serikali kuu ikimiliki asilimia na nane ya hisa huku shamba lake la miwa likiwa la ukubwa wa hekta tatu na sita na eneo la wakulima wa nje lenye zaidi ya hekta na tatu. Sekta ya sukari ni miongoni mwa sekta muhimu zaidi za kilimo magharibi mwa Kenya. Katika kaunti ya Bungoma hadhi na umuhimu wa sukari kama tegemeo la maisha na kiuchumi inakabiliwa na tishio la mabadiliko mbalimbali katika sekta ya sukari. You have to make sure that Kaimu meneja wa kampuni ya sukari ya Nzoya, Crispin Omondi amesema mwaka jana kampuni hiyo ilifanyiwa marekebisho yaliyogharimu shilingi milioni 216 pesa zilizotoka kwa ruzuku ya serikali. However Uh, we didn't cover all the parts of the factory because we had budgeted to do the maintenance at a cost of 340 million. Omondi anasema changamoto kuu ambayo kampuni inakabiliana nayo kwa sasa ni mali ghafi. Akisema ushindani kutoka kwa kampuni zingine na uwezo wao wa kifedha umeondoa miwa ambayo waliofurahia katika ukanda mkubwa wa magharibi na kusababisha uhaba wa upatikanaji wa miwa uh, we had naitiri coming in uh, sometimes last year uh, which took most of the cane that we were getting from uh, the eastern part of this uh, company and then we also had mumias coming in to play and uh, this has uh, mopped most of the cane that we had in this area and uh, that has translated into acute cane shortage Gharama ya ziada imepanda kwa sababu ya kutoendana na shughuli za kusaga na hivyo gharama ya uzalishaji imekuwa kubwa uh, We also have a fourth shift that is normally on off when the three shifts are working So meaning that when we Uh, only use two shifts to mill we have two shifts that are idle and uh, these are our permanent employees who we cannot lay off just like that huku baraza la mawaziri likipewa mamlaka ya kubinafsisha mashirika ya serikali katika kaunti ya Bungoma ujumbe wa uwezekano wa ubinafsishaji wa kampuni ya sukari ya Nzoya haujapokewa vyema shamba ya Nzoya 24000 acres hiyo ndio watu wanataka kunyakuwa. Na sisi Mheshimiwa Rais hatutakubali. And I've been on record. Hata kama nitabaki peke yangu sitakubali nzoya iuzwe. No steps can be taken to affect other people without involving them. There can be no privatization of Zoya Sugar without involving the people who hold stakes in it. Who are the people who hold stakes in it? Gavana wa Bungoma Kenneth Lusaka amesema kama viongozi wataongoza ujumbe katika ikulu kukutana na Rais William Ruto kuhusu swala hilo ili kutafuta suluhisho bora zaidi hatutakubali kubinafsisha kiwanda cha Nzoya Seneta wa kaunti ya Bungoma David Wafula Wakoli amesema hawatauza urithi wao wa pekee kwa sababu ya faida ya kibinafsi tutakuwa na mkutano ili tuwe na msimamo mmoja Uh, na tukikutana kama viongozi wa bunge na wale MCs ambao wanahusika sisi wote tunataka tukutane na mheshimiwa rais ili tukizungumza tuwe na sauti moja lakini la msingi kwangu ni kwamba kuona kwamba kiwanda cha Nzoya kinafanya kazi kwa njia ambayo iko efficient and effective mkulima alipwe hiyo ndio kitu ya mahana lakini juzi serikali nisema wanataka kubinafsisha viwanda mimi kule senate nikawaambia The last thing you can ever imagine is to sell and privatize Nzoya Sugar Company. Hatuwezi uza urithi kwa sababu ya matumbo yetu. Na ndio tumebadilisha sheria kule Senate kabla waziri afanye chochote. 
tutaonana mundu kumundu hapo senate ili wa Kenya wajue Mbunge wa Kimilili Didmus Barasa na mwenzake wa ya Mashariki Martin Pepela wamekumbusha kuwa serikali ya Kenya kwanza iliwaahidi wakazi wa kaunti ya Bungoma kuwa itafufua kiwanda hicho na dawa ya deni ni kulipa. And we will want to ask the government that if the government of Kenya is unable to run to revive and run Zoya Sugar that they should write off the debts hand over the factory to the county government of Bungoma so that Ken Makelo Lusaka and the people of Bungoma can he try to set up aside some funds bring in new machines that will embrace new technology so that we can bring Zoya back to profitability uh, the Kenya Kwanza government that we have we are not known as a people who betrays their citizens and their voters. Let's keep to the promise that we made to our voters, we made to the people of Bungoma, that we are going to renew the current technology that is being used to process sugar with a modern technology that will enhance, uh, that, that will enhance uh, sugar cane diversification. Mbunga wa Kandui, John Makali, amesema, Iwapo hatu wastahiki zita wekwa baada ya kuwalipa wakulima na wafanyikazi malimbikizi ya malipo yao na kuwawekea mashine mpya katika kiwanda basi mjadala wa ubinafsishaji utakuwa hadithi ya siku nyingine. Because one of the issues which we, we discuss with management, we ask management also to be very very patriotic. Because you see, if the factory is having issues, you know they are the ones who run that particular factory. This is where they earn their living. That is where they send their children to school from. Why are they allowing, you know, shoddy work to be done? If there are technocrats there, why can't they give them their best? Why can't they give their best? Because if you are a technocrat there and you're doing procurement, you know, using shortcuts. How are you assisting? Are you assisting yourself or you say, oh, whom are you assisting? We ask those people that let them be very and we're going to keep an eye on them. Because you see, there are a lot of things that have gone there in either in the procurement section, or even the agriculture section. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know it's not just a cash cow to go there to be milk. Madeni ya kampuni ya sukari ya nzoya ni takriban shilingi bilioni hamsi na tatu. Na hivyo, kampuni inakabiliwa na tishio la kusambaratika kabisa. Katika ripoti ya ukaguzi wa esabu ya mwaka wa elfu mbili kuminatisa, elfu mbili shirini, kampuni hiyo, ina mali ya thamani ya shilingi bilioni moja nukta sita. Na kwa kiwango chake cha deni, kampuni ina madeni makubwa ya kifedha ambayo hayawezi kukombolewa na mali yake. Ingawa hali ya kifedha ya kampuni ni kiashirio cha changamoto zake za kifedha ambayo inaleta mashaka makubwa juu ya uwezo wake wa kufanya kazi kukiwa na changamoto hizo. Hata wakati kampuni inatatizika na malimbikizi ya madeni, Crispin Omondi anasema wafanye kazi wamejitolea kulima na kupandamiwa kutumia shamba la kampuni ili kukabiliana na tatizo la upungufu wa bidhaa hiyo muhimu. Trekta hii nyuma yangu inashukisha mbegu ya miwa tayari kwa upanzi kwa shamba hili ambalo tayari lishaandaliwa. We need to modernize our plant. And modernization means that um, you automate most of the functions of the plant. Because right now, most of these functions are manual. And when you are ma they are manual, then uh, you tend to use more people uh, to do jobs that can be done by a few people. And that's how our overhead costs uh, go up. Iwapo kiwanda hiki kitabinafsishwa au la, kizungu mkuti kinasalia je wakulima na wafanyikazi wa kampuni hii watalipwa marupurupu yao John Makuba K24 Bungoma